What is up, beautiful, amazing, and gorgeous people? Welcome to another tutorial by me, Victor Dozel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Nest.js controllers and routing. So with that said, let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our terminal and we're gonna start a new Nest.js project. And if you remember from the previous tutorial, it was with a command nest new and we're gonna call this project 002 controller routing again we're gonna choose npm as our package manager and we're gonna wait a few seconds for nest.js to set everything up for us okay so now that that is done we are going to go into our new project 002 controller routing and we're gonna, just for the cleanup purposes, I'm gonna remove the git hidden folder, rm-rf.git. And this is because I already have everything under source control, so I don't need another git folder in here. So the next step is we're gonna actually open Visual Studio Code, or we're gonna open this new project with, with Visual Studio Code. So I'm gonna say code dot, that's gonna open my project here. And next we're gonna, well actually, first of all, we're gonna show you what the, code is currently doing. To do that, I'm gonna run my server and I'm gonna use the npm run start debug command. We haven't seen what debug does, but it, one of the cool things that it does is that whenever you make changes to the code, it automatically restarts your server. So we're gonna start this command. We're gonna wait for the green stuff to show up and we're gonna verify that our server is working as expected. Cool, so here's our green stuff. Now let's go verify that everything is working as expected. So we're gonna go to localhost 3000. And just so you know, if you wanna change the, the port over here, all you have to do is go into the main file over here and change this to 3005, for example. So let's watch our server reload in action. So you can see this stuff here. Let's go back here. Actually, let's put it side by side so that you're able to see the restart happen. So. I put 3005, my file is unsaved, I'm gonna save it. And my server automatically restarted. Now if I try 3000 again, it's going to fail. But if I try 3005, everything's going to be good to go. So let's go back to our 3000, save that. Go back to over here, make sure that everything's working. And there we go. So now <clears throat> for the routing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna explore this app controller file. To keep it simple, let's write this file from scratch. So first, what we have to do is we have to import our the way in which Nest.js likes controllers to be done. So we're gonna import the controller statement or what is what is typically called a decorator in Nest.js. And we're also gonna need a get decorator. We can talk more about decorators in a little bit here. And then we're gonna import those two from at Nest.js common. There we go. Next up, we have to create a class that is gonna be our controller and we have to export that class from this file. So we're gonna do export class, and I can call this class whatever I want. I'm gonna call this one my beautiful controller. Now, in order for this class to become a controller, I have to decorate it. I have to put a statement at the top of it saying controller, and that's it. Now this class has become a beautiful controller. So now nothing's gonna be working at this point. If I go back to my server and I refresh, nothing's gonna show up. Oh. Uh, stuff is showing up. Let me see my terminal. Right, and that is because in another file, my app controller, actually in my app module, I'm importing my app controller. So in this scenario, let me go back to my app module file. And it's saying that this here is not found. So I'm actually going to import my beautiful controller. So replace that. Let me save it. Let's go back to our server. And there we go. So now it's telling us that, that the route cannot be found. The get slash route cannot be found. However, this is good news because now it's telling us that it can find the controller, it just cannot find the route. So let's get that fixed. Back to the code. The way to get the, the route to work as expected is we have to create a function here. And to create a function, you simply enter a name, whatever you want. And I'm gonna call my function here, get hello, gorgeous people. And I'm gonna make this function return, hello, gorgeous people. So for this function here to become a route, we have to decorate it with a get function. So as you can see in my server, everything is still not working. I'm just refreshing. However, as soon as I put my get decorator up here and I refresh my page, now we can see that the route is working. So let's uh, do another example. I'm gonna create another function called get hello 
amazing people. And this time, it's going to fail to get me this. Or actually, it might just replace, let's see what happens. So yeah, this one is not working right now because we have to name this route with something. And so in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name it um, amazing, slash amazing. And the way this is going to work is if we go back to the server and I do slash amazing over here, it should now show the new text, which you can see it right here. Everything is working. Cool, so now what happens if you wanna make all of these be under another sub route? Well, pretty easy. You can put a parameter in this controller decorator and you can say, for example, slash, or actually you can call it just beautiful, underscore controller. And now if we go back over here, it's not going to find this amazing route because we just changed the base of the route. So now what we have to do is copy this beautiful controller and put it before amazing. So it's gonna be localhost 3000 slash beautiful controller slash amazing. And now everything is working again. Now let's try our slash route, which, which as you can see, if you leave the get empty or if you leave the controller empty, you'll just get a slash. But um, let's get the gorgeous people to appear and to make that work, you just simply remove the amazing from here. And there you go. So now we have two routes, the beautiful controller route and the beautiful controller amazing route. Alrighty, so for this tutorial, let's leave it at that. In the next tutorial, we will explore a bunch more functionality as far as routing goes. As a reminder, if you ever get lost in this tutorial or if you wanna just uh, look at how the code is written, go ahead and go to the github.com vicswim Victor Dozel NestJS tutorial repository. Again, I'll zoom this in so that you can get a better look. And this repository will contain all of the NestJS tutorials that I've come up with so far. Alrighty, well, thank you so much for your time. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. I would really highly appreciate it. Again, thank you for your time, and we'll see you in the next one.